manual calculations, this method is easier to use. It is similar to an ordinary load calculation, where you'd see water is the added weight. Based on this assumption, the new floating position and stability is calculated, and the hydrostatic tests and cross curves for the ship can be used, since the hull is intact. The difficulty is to estimate the volume of flooded water, that is, the added weight. Calculation Procedure When calculating the floating position and stability after damage using the added weight method, the following procedure should be followed. 1. Estimate the mass of the flooded water and use this as an added weight. 2. Draft and displacement for the ship is calculated based on this added weight. 3. Estimate the location of center of gravity of the flooded seawater. Calculate the effect on the center of gravity, G, of the ship. 4. Calculate new GM for the new draft and location of G. Five. Calculate the effect of free surface since the weight is a liquid and reduce GM by the formula GGV equals I divided by the volume of displacement plus A times Y squared divided by the volume of displacement, where GGV is the full rise of G due to free surface effect. I is the moment of inertia of the free liquid surface in the damaged compartment. This symbol is the volume of displacement of the ship in meters. A is the area of the free surface. Y is the distance between the center line of the ship and area center of the free surface. The term A times Y squared divided by the volume of displacement is a contribution to Stainer's theorem and is called the free communication effect of the water in the damaged compartment. Notice that if the damage is symmetrical around the center line of the ship, this term will be zero, since y is zero. This term does not exist in ordinary free surface conditions for tanks, since the tanks have no free communication with the sea. Six. Calculate new trim and list. When the new floating position has been calculated, it is possible to check if the water in the damaged compartment corresponds to the estimated volume of the flood water. If not, the procedure should be started all over again, and a new estimation of flooded water, that is, added weight, should be made. Correction of GZ Curve a new GZ curve should be calculated according to the new location of G and floating position of the ship. This curve should then be corrected for eel, cosines correction, free surface effect of the flooded water, sinus correction, and possible free communication effect in a sinus correction.